Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to enable live weather on the lock screen and home screen of your iOS 15 device. Now this is really, really good. You can have live weather updates and change between different beautiful themes on the lock screen and home screen of your device, both of them or whichever one you choose. Now the process is not that complicated. Just make sure you follow this guide step by step and you will be able to have these beautiful weather themes on the lock screen and home screen of your iOS 15 device. Now before we get into all that, make sure you smash the like button on this video. That really helps out a lot and of course I will really appreciate if you can leave a like on this video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download Discord from the App Store. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already have it. If you don't, make sure you download it. It is free from the App Store. Now, once you have that installed, you will need to, in to actually join a Discord, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have done that, then what you need to do, the second step is go ahead and head on to the Files app. From here, make sure you go ahead and go to the iCloud drive, go to the shortcuts folder and tap anywhere on the blank space, tap and hold, you will get this pop-up, tap on new folder, and add this folder called iOS weather. So lowercase i, uppercase o, uppercase s, and uppercase w, and then the other ones on lowercase. You need to do this exactly like this. And right here, tap the dumb button, and now you're good to go. What you need to do is go back to Discord, and from here on this Discord that you have now joined, go ahead and go to news. On the news page, just go ahead and swipe all the way up and you will get all the links right here. Now, first of all, you will need to install these files right here. Tap this link and wait for this file to download. So it should take just like a few seconds. Once the file has been downloaded, tap on open in and choose save to files. Now go ahead and tap on iCloud, tap on shortcuts, and find the folder we just created. So it is this one right here, iOS weather, and tap the save button. Now that you have done that, go back to the files app and go to iOS weather here and tap on that file to unzip it. It will be done, of course, automatically. You just tap on the file and wait here and you're good to go. So now it's already done. We have the folder here unzipped. Now we're good to go. What you need to do is head on back to Discord and you will find here the other links that you need to download, tap done right there. And you will have now three shortcuts that you need to download. Now this actually only works by using one shortcut, but you will have to have the other ones as well installed. So just install these three shortcuts one by one. So tap there, get the shortcut, go back to Discord and add the second one. add the shortcut right here. And then let's go ahead and add the last one. Now, the good thing about these shortcuts is that if they need to be updated or you don't have the latest version, they will update automatically. They will show you a pop-up right here to actually go ahead and update them. Now, once you're here, what you need to do is go ahead and run this shortcut right here, weather HTML 2.0. Now, just keep in mind that for this to work, you will need to have location services turned on. So tap right there and wait for all the pop-ups. Make sure you allow everything here. Just choose allow always so you don't have to do this anytime you run the shortcut and you want to change the weather or change your theme. So just allow these ones right here and then you don't need to do it anymore in the future. Now, if you get a pop-up that you need to actually update the shortcut, this is what you will see. So go ahead and tap add the shortcut and tap on replace. That will replace the old shortcut with a new one and then just wait for this to finish. And right now you will have basically the default theme of this shortcut on the lock screen of your device. Just wait for this to finish and then you're good to go. And then of course, I will show you guys how to actually change the themes and add any of the beautiful themes which you can find on the Discord. There are some really, really amazing themes that actually show quite a lot of different informations, not just weather on the lock screen of your device. So let's just wait for this to finish. And now it's done. The shortcut has ran and it's completed now. Now, if you get the shortcut stuck, it's not completing. What you need to do is just go ahead and close 
this shortcut app of course make sure you close it from the app switcher as well and then go ahead and run the shortcut again and it should work because on ios 15 there is a bug that actually stops the shortcuts from running all the way so if that happens to you if the shortcut gets stuck just make sure you restart the shortcut app and of course go ahead and then run the shortcut again now that it has finished you can see if i go to my lock screen you can see how it looks now we have the calendar right there we have the battery percentage here we have the weather forecast for the next few hours and we have also the weather forecast for the next week right here this is really really beautiful and of course you can have much more by changing the themes of this shortcut and of course i will show you guys how to do that right now to change the themes, what you need to do is first of all, go ahead, go to the app store and download this app right here. It is called JSON. Make sure to download it. It is free from the app store. Then what you need to do is go to discord and of course, go to the discord that I showed you guys. And from here, you will find the gallery. If you go to gallery, you will find here a bunch of different beautiful themes that you can install for your home screen or lock screen. So you can see this one is, for example, for the home screen, it won't probably look that good on the lock screen. Then we have another one here, which looks beautiful, and that's for the lock screen. And you can go ahead and try out, of course, different ones. So let's try this one. So tap right there to download it. Tap the download button right here. Now, once the file has downloaded, tap on more right there and then tap on save to files right here what you need to do is go ahead and tap on shortcuts and then find right here ios weather and make sure you tap right here and actually save it on this folder weather html 2.0 click on the save button and then head on to the files app right here we will find it of course let's just go from the beginning so icloud drive shortcuts ios weather here we have iOS weather, then go to this folder and you will find right here the theme that we just downloaded and it is this one right here. What you need to do is go ahead and tap on it to actually unzip this. So tap right there and wait for it to unzip. Once the folder has been unzipped, what you need to do is just tap on the name of the folder and it will be selected like that. Tap once more and copy the name of the folder right there. Then go to this file right here, 00theme. Go ahead and 3D touch on it and tap the little share button right there and find the JSON app that we have downloaded. Tap on that app and this is what you will see. So you have two different different sections right here. We'll have lock screen and you have home screen. Now we want to apply this theme to the lock screen. Now what you need to do is go ahead and just go to theme LS folder right there, select this and then just tap paste. So you will paste the new name of the basically the theme that we just have downloaded. Then you can go back right here and you can see if we go to lock screen, we have right there apply on lock screen and there's a number one, which means that this theme is enabled for the lock screen. Now, if you want to disable it for the home screen, you go to home screen right here and make sure the number is zero. So the number zero and the number one will enable and disable a certain theme for the lock screen and home screen. Now, what you can do here is go ahead and apply two different themes, one to the home screen and one to the lock screen. So let's say we have another theme right there, which is for the home screen we go to the home screen section and paste that name right here then of course we go to apply on home screen and add the number one right there replace the number zero now once you have done this you go back right to the shortcuts app and run the shortcut again and now you will have the new theme applied to the lock screen of your device so let's just wait for a few seconds here and now that the shortcut has run, you can see if we go to the lock screen, we have a new beautiful theme. You can see how good this looks. It actually makes the lock screen of your device look totally, totally different. And that, of course, without even having to jailbreak or do stuff like that to your device. And now let me show you guys how to have this updated automatically so you don't need to run the shortcut any time of the day. To automate this, it will be very simple. All you need to do is go to the shortcuts app, go to automations and create a personal automation and you have here time of the day. You can choose here at which time of the day you want to update 
your weather on the lock screen. So you can create a bunch of these automations, maybe one for 8 a.m., one for 10 a.m., one for 12 p.m., Anytime you want, you just go ahead and create a new automation and then at that time the weather will be updated. So you choose the time of the day right here. So let's go right here with 2 p.m. And then what you need to do is choose this daily. So it will basically run the same automation every day. Tap the next button and add action and search for run shortcut. So here we have a run shortcut and then tap right there and choose weather html 2.0 tap the next button disable this click done and you're good to go you will have the weather updated at that time that you have set with this automation so that is it for this video guys this is how you can have live weather on the home screen and lock screen of your device i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you follow the step-by-step -step process and you will find all the links in the description and of course you can have this successfully set on your device hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you on the next one